Hi again guys, I'm Shubhendu Kulshresht and today I'm going to talk to you about how I studied anatomy in a rather unconventional sort of way. So the usual way of studying anatomy in India at least is through BDC, BD Chorus. That is the book that everyone reads and it's been a red book since last at least couple of years. All my juniors and seniors know it as the red book of anatomy. And I hate it. I know they've improved in the last few editions, but I still don't like it at all. So um, in my first year, like that's three, three and a half, or four years ago, and uh, I, you know, was experimenting. So I decided not to buy the book. So what did I use instead? You ask. I used uh, Netter's Anatomy, and I used my professor's notes. So we had great professors taking brilliant classes, and they were nice enough to give us the PPTs. So um, I studied off of those PPTs mainly for the exams and I got a lot of understanding through Netter's diagrams. Um, supplementing this with um, Cunningham's. Cunningham's Manual of Surgery is a beautiful book and has these crazy views that you'll never see. Like you'll see axilla cut in like a different way looking at it from the inside and it's just crazy. That gave me a whole new perspective on things and you know that's when you understand those relations of things better. Anatomy was one of my favorite subjects. Uh, another great thing that helped me was this app on my iPad. We got iPads from our college, and uh, so there was this app on my iPad um, uh, called um, Muscle 3D, I believe. I don't remember it correctly. Uh, it was basically a 3D skeleton which you could move around, and you could add or remove layers. So you could add skin, neural tissue, vascular tissue, muscles, and you could select a specific nerve, and then it'll give you details origin. Uh, like for a muscle, it'll give you origin, insertion, innovation. For a nerve, it'll tell you what are the root values, or is it sensory, is it motor, what does it supply? And you know, isolate. Having the ability to mold things around like that really shaped the way I understood my anatomy. Because at the end of it, I feel that anatomy is um, all about getting to know what is where. And the more you see, the more you look at it from different perspectives, the better you're gonna understand. So I mean. Uh, go ahead, read BDC, it's pretty good, but make sure you don't miss out on the other resources. So, um, that's what I did with my anatomy, and I hope you have fun with the one you're going to learn. And if you've done just uh, one textbook in the past, go ahead, use these other resources, look at these beautiful dissection videos on YouTube, attend your postings, I mean, attend your dissection hall really well. It'll be great, okay? All the best, guys. Have a great time.